Here we go, guys. The ideal has, has answered the call of the Massey. So the Massey's gonna run a half mile and the Fent is gonna run two. And we're gonna see what happens. And then we're off. And I'm gonna get dusty. And the Fent takes an early lead. Look at the spreader on this thing. It's pretty good for 1980. It's getting all the way out to the end. Oh, I'm not liking this. Massey is quick on the tail. Right to the edge there, I can see it. It's hitting the straw. Actually, there's some up on top. It is a bit breezy, so it looks like we're having a little bit of trouble hitting right there, but... Oh, we're basically spreading a full 30 here. We're smoking. Fence is gone. Well, it's, when I say gone, it's like not real, real gone, but it's, it's leaving. Let's hop up on this thing. That's a washout. Oh! Where's the vent? Vent is not that far ahead. I can pretty much tell you who's going to win this race. Now the vent does have a few more feet of header there. Or like 20 more feet of header. <laughs> But this old Massey's percolating pretty good. Hey, no pun intended with the Perkins engine. Let's climb up top here. That's what I like to see.
I'm smashing in the long shot. I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> don't wanna miss that step, boy. It's been done. Massey's gonna win. It's gonna win real bad. Real bad it's gonna win. <laughs> Check some heads here. And they shelled out. And they shelled out. If it ain't smoking, it ain't working. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna waste this vent here. Of course, we only have 30 feet of header. Vent's turning around. You think you can get us a honeybee for this thing, or an airflex? <laughs> oh yeah, it's my older brother, by the way, if you're wondering. to turn around. He didn't turn around. He's going a lot farther than a half a mile. Oh well. It's not going to really matter anyway.
Rocking 50 feet here. Okay guys, I'm gonna run back to the Massey. Massey easily wins. Okay, maybe the fence doing a little more than doubling us. Cause he went farther to begin with. I'm gonna pause you so I can catch up to the Massey. Woo! That's it. I just got here. Massey wins. Massey wins. Smoke. I'm guessing sample. Well, I shouldn't say that. The sample on the pants are actually pretty good. We'll take a look. But so he went. Oh, look. Woo. Let's say it went over a mile. Anyway, definitely over a mile. I gotta pause this so I can gain my breath. Okay guys, I'm back in my combine here. So, I know what you're thinking. Hey Mike, well, not fair. Hold on. Like not fair Mike, you paused the video just before the Massey got to the end. That's just because I needed to run back and I didn't feel like giving you guys motion sickness. But I pointed out where the Massey had to go and he was basically there when I paused my video. So as soon as I ran back as fast as I could, I turned my video back on and he was there. And the fence went farther down than he should have. He should have turned. But uh, so the fence definitely did one mile. And at the most, the fence did was a mile and a quarter to the half a mile of the Massey in about a 55 bushel derm crop. So pretty freaking good of the Massey. Pretty good. Um, yeah, so thanks again, guys. It's been fun. I like doing random fun things. Uh, maybe next time. I've been playing with the automation on this uh, fend. There's so many different features. Like, holy crap. Like, oh man. So, I gotta get this windshield wiper out of the way. We, get, we need a windshield wiper that's down here. Like the like the 1050 vent down here. It goes around and it gets right out of the way. That's what we need. Anyway, maybe we'll do an automation versus human. Fend to fend or something. I don't know. I like doing fun stuff, you guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Not trying to bore you. Hopefully that Massey video didn't bore you too much because not a whole lot I could do. <laughs> and I have a terrible cold, so don't really feel like talking a bunch. All right, guys. I'll let you go. Stay tuned for more.